I've just been informed that Kalilinos 2025 is out. So I'm going to go check on that and if possible, download it. So I go to the Kalilinos website, which is kali.org. So I go to download. I go with the installer image. And here I have Kali Linux 2025.1. So the file size is 4.1 gig. So what I'll do is to click on download. And I'm going to click on save to download this. I have downloaded this before, so I'm going to stop this download. Now let's go and install this on VMware. So this is my VMware. To begin the installation, I want to click on create a virtual machine. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to go with the default recommended. So here I don't have a CD drive on my PC. So what I will do is this, I'm going to click on this, which says install this image file ISO. So I'm going to browse and select the Kali Linux 2025 that I have downloaded. So I'm going to say browse. And if you look over here, I have my Kali Linux 2025 here. So I'm going to click on that and say open. So here now I'm going to say next. Select operating system. I'm going to say Linux and immediately I do that, I'm going to select other Linux 6.x kernel 64 bits. I'm going to say next. What is the name of my virtual machine? I'm going to give it anything Kali 2025. So where do I want to install it? I can choose a location where I want to install this. For this particular one, I want it to be on drive E. So I'm going to say next. Maximum disk space in gigabyte. I'm going to take 30. Then for this particular one, I'm going to choose store virtual disk as a single file. So I'll say next. So this is uh, my memory. Memory is too low. So I'm going to customize hardware. I come to memory. I'm going to make that 2 gig because I have 24 gig memory on this system and now that everything is okay here i'm gonna say close and i'll say finish so here is a virtual machine so what i will do next is to start the virtual machine i'm gonna select it and click on our power on the virtual machine so i'm going to be selecting graphical install i'm going to hit enter on the keyboard so we're here so i'm simply click on english so i'll say continue now choose your country and say 
continue configure the keyboard i will go with american english so i'll say continue say please enter the host name for this system then i'm going to put a name kali 2025 i will say continue domain name I'm going to skip this. A user account will be created for you to use instead of your root account for non administrative activities. Please enter your real name of this user. Okay. So, because we are in the business of security, hacking, and the rest, it would be a wrong uh, idea to put your personal name here. So, here, I'm going to put Kali 2025 or I'm going to put Kali with double I now say continue username of the account I'll still leave it at that then make sure you select a strong password so password So that is my password. I'm going to say continue. So I'm going to choose use entire disk. I'll say continue. Here there's nothing to choose. I'll say continue. Here all files in one partition recommended. I'll say continue. So here nothing to choose. I'll say continue write the changes to disk i'll say yes i'll continue so here i have the default selections for me i'm okay with this so i'm gonna say continue Install Grub Boot Loader. I'm going to say yes and say continue. Then here I'm going to choose slash dev slash sda and say continue. So I'm going to say continue. So Kali Linux. So here now I'm going to put my username. And my password I'm going to hold control then plus button on the keyboard to increase the font size so that is it i think this 225 was quite faster than the time it took to install 2024 so this is how to install this on a vmware workstation if you want to learn how to install it on virtual bus kindly watch the next video